In Colorado Springs, the Wounded Warriors Project, partnering with Cottonwood Center for the Arts, offers ceramics courses to veterans and their spouses. Veterans enjoy learning a new skill while networking in a safe environment. Arts District Southern Colorado producer Kate Perdoni went to the studio to meet instructor Ed White. I got my uh, master's degree in counseling uh, in 2014. Uh, sort of a late in life kind of career change thing. And I've been doing pottery for like 49 years. One of six adults in this county is a veteran. So we have kind of a veteran mentality in this county and I love that. And what I came to believe is that as veterans, we need to help each other out in the community. When I get here, I usually grab my clay and my wife's clay and then kind of just start figuring out what we want to make. So I would say it's very relaxing. I literally leave work and come straight here. So it's very nice de-stressor. In order to center the clay, you have to be centered. That centering piece uh, is very calming and that helps a lot. You know, with PTSD, there's hyper uh, vigilance and you know, things like that that keep you on edge all the time. And this just calms you down. I think any type of art, whether it's doing pottery or painting or drawing, I think it's, it's very therapeutic. It allows, allows you to kind of get all those things that are on your mind, off your mind. Some of us like to isolate ourselves, and it kind of brings us out of there and get together with people that we've served with or, you know, that have the similar experiences. One of the things about PTSD is that those of us who have it tend to turn away from human connection. And when they're doing this kind of thing, they're turning towards, strengthens their relationship and it strengthens the, the individual as well. When you're creating something, it puts you in a different space than you're normally in. And that allows you to, to uh, kind of see things in a different light, maybe open up a little bit. It was really eye-opening because it, uh, it showed stuff that I thought was just pertained to me pertain to all of us. This is our third week. Been enjoying it quite a bit. You just kind of leave everything else like at home or whatever and so it, it's it's been very peaceful and, and calming for us to do this. You know I spent 24 years in the Air Force so anytime you get around veterans I don't know my uh, I just start feeling more happier. I've had vets that have gone to it come to me and say this this is the only hour and a half that I am out of the house during the week and ultimately hopefully the goal is through that eight week session that's not going to be the only hour and a half they feel comfortable being out of the house that they're going to get centered and be able to start be empowered to live the life that they should live. When I ask them sometimes when they're leaving how they're feeling it's always I feel better. That's the, the whole crux of it is that they feel better when they leave. There's more to learn online at cottonwoodcenterforthearts.com.